Good afternoon, everybody. This is my second time around. Earlier, I did one for Nuvia's uh, lace shop. Now I'm just going to do my Merry Monday. I'm just going to move some of these off to the side. I've got some fussy cuts. I've got some Christmas images. I just watched, and I've got some postcards in some different sizes. I just watched this on um, Lynette's channel, and I can't think of the name of it right now. And it's from Wendy's Journals. Um, I think it's called Wendy's Journals. Another lady I subscribe to, but I didn't watch her video yet. I'm going to do that later. But, like, I'm not going to worry about covering the back with you guys, because you all know how to cover a back of an item. So I'm just going to corner around mine. And I, sh I was going to pre-make one, but I really wanted to make this with you. So this can be used as to be in a tuck, in a pocket. It could turn into um, inside a pocket. It can become a pocket if you want, um, whatever you would like it to be. And this is really quick and easy ephemera. I am going to make a bunch of these up like I always do. I'm going to make two pack, two different type of packages up. I'm going to make a package of these for, in my store of Purple Hearts Creation. One with the completed items. Um, if you want to just buy them, my work, complete it. Of course, I'm not going to um, ink the back yet because I'm going to put on the paper. And then I'm going to put a, a bundle together with blank postcards and an assortment of different fussy cuts, some words, and some different Christmas images that you can purchase that way. And then you can make them with what that is. I don't know the price of it. It's just a thought that popped in my head just this moment. So basically what she did is like she took some images, like this one's a little too big. Um, uh, now that I've, I've found these images and now that I've done this, I realize I need to make the images a little bit smaller. And in this I could... Did I leave my scissors here? Nope, I didn't. Where is it? I had my scissors earlier, but now I put them back and I need a glue stick. And I was going to put my board up and I forgot. So let me grab, uh, I don't know where I put my glue, the book up here. Yeah, this is the one I use to glue on. <sighs> so I'm just going to grab that so I don't. I don't know where that came from so I'm just gonna I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is take a little bit more off the bottom of this and a touch more this probably isn't gonna be an hour-long video because I have to make dinner and I was gonna start it at four but a friend of mine was doing a live in a in a group and I wanted to go support her um, plus she was giving away an opportunity to win free stuff. Not that it mattered to me about the free stuff. It's Halloween and I don't do much with Halloween. I just wanted to support her. Uh, so I went on that. I am inking it a little bit. It doesn't need much ink. It's just sometimes the white edges will show. Now these ones, I have minis like this in a package that I'm selling in my group. Not these images, but if you like some of these images, I can make a package of that as well. I've tried to find where I put it so I can show you and I can't tell you the price offhand because I put so many different little things up this uh, past few days that I've forgotten all the prices of things. So, um, and it's it's really little minis. Even smaller than these. They're, they're tiny and there's a I forget how many it's in it says in there I think there's 20 find the exact and they're on cardstock I didn't put these on cardstock because they're going on something so I didn't want that heavy bulkiness but I'm some of these images I didn't use so I might do another one up because this one's really cute that I found in my searching today this morning while I drank my tea some days I spend hours because it's not just a matter of when you find an image, you have to research it and check on its copyright and if it's owned by an Etsy. Because some of the Etsy people buy the card, the original, and then they scan it and then they put their own copyright on it. I don't know how it works. I, feel, I don't know. 
but if it's already on the internet free, I think you can still use it. You just can't use their picture of it. So then I'll try to locate it that way. So nice and simple, right? And then she went and did other things to it. Now, I don't know if I have, I wished I had a smaller point set. I think I'm going to make a few of these smaller and fussy cut them out. Um, Cause she went and added just like a little, I don't know if I got that tiny of a, let's go. I've got small things in here. Um, I could, if I wanted to, it could be as simple as even a snowflake on it. I kind of like that. I think I kind of like that. Um, and I do have these for sale in my group as well. Um, I have some gold glitter ones. Nobody has spoken for them yet. There's only one package of these. That's it. Because my punches had a hard time with those and they almost broke. But I have them um, red and green. This is a dark and a light, like this is more vintagey, And then this is just regular red and green. And I also have stamped snowflakes and I have them in pink. Two shades of pink in this one and two shades of blue in another one. But again, I can do these snowflakes in white. I'm working on seeing if I can um, emboss, do some embossed ones. I don't know. I'm trying. I can't promise that. But if you're interested in those snowflakes, I have them in bundles in my shop as well. They're a great little way of adding a little something here or there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. I like, I love the burgundy snowflakes. And these right now are a good price. They're not like a sale, sale, cheap sale price, but they'll be better than the price that I put them at at Christmas. So it's kind of a Christmas in July event I'm having. I'm working on some fussy cuts this evening and probably tomorrow morning to go in the shop late tomorrow afternoon. So just something really simple. And I, I thought I had my word sentiments, but I don't seem to have any simple ones. I have that one. And you might, like I'm going to trim this up a little bit more. Hi, boo-boo. I know you'll have to wait. She's come for food and she's meowing at me, but she's going to lay on the blanket. I now keep a blanket under my desk on the side of it so that she can come and lay beside me. Because she likes to be close sometimes and other times she'll go find a quiet place that I don't know. Sometimes I think she gets outside because I can't find her. Yeah, I'm talking about you, ain't I? Hmm. I forgot your you I'm not can't do your afternoon snack right now. I'll do it in a little bit. Okay. So now let's see if by cleaning that up, because I don't want to lose all the writing in this, right? And nothing says it can't be put somewhere else on the postcard. Maybe I like it up there. That's what I think. These are quick and easy to. Well, they're pretty quick and easy. I had just happened to have some things already. I kind of pre. I'm trying to um, do better videos where I've my idea more trans. I didn't know what to do today. I knew it was Merry Monday and I wanted to do something for Merry Monday, but I wasn't exactly sure what. So there we go. And then once the back is covered, isn't that cute? Make a cute little pocket. There we go. And even with this, if you have stamps, you could stamp. Um, if I wanted to. I didn't realize I had put all that. Yeah, so I have my stamps here, but I put I was stamping snowflakes and what was left over. I kind of put in the box so I would know where they were, and I didn't really bring my stamp pad, so I'm gonna try something. Maybe you want to add just a little lightness in other places. Just take a stamp. Oh, I like that. And put a couple of the stamps. There we go. I like that idea. Let's just leave that there. And it worked pretty good by using my hand. So there's one done. Uh, other than I have to cover the back, right? So let's see. And I did mini ones. Now I don't have 
I had a lot of mini, but even on that, it could be something as simple as that on it. I want it to, or, oh, look at that. Something like that. You can do fussy cuts. You could do images. I'm kind of liking that, but what could I put in the background of it? Is that flower a little smaller? Oh, boo-boo, there's no food right now, baby. So please. And I have this book. Eventually, these were supposed to go in here, but then I wasn't liking... Oh, 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 maybe I like this. Okay, let's see that one. I'm just going to pull out a couple of these so that I have them here because I might use a couple of these. So I'm just going to pull them out because I'm going to work... I'm going to work on some of these bundles. Maybe that's what I'll do tonight. I'll work on some of these bundles, and then I'll do fussy cutting tomorrow. So fussy cutting probably will go in. What's today? Today is Monday. So I'll work on putting these bundles together tonight to go in the shop tomorrow morning. Or tonight, depending on how quickly I work. Tomorrow, um, I'll work on the fussy cutting and either get them in late evening. Also, I was thinking that one. But I think this one will be better on one of the larger ones. Sometimes when I do things, you'll see me, well, I have the idea, there's a lot of writing on this. I do like that. So what I'm gonna do, it's because I'm working on the other one, just because I had that idea. Sometimes I, if in the middle of creating one, another idea comes to me, I'll just, paper clip it to it and then I can go back to it oh I wasn't working on that one I was working on a mini <laughs> a smaller one I kind of like that point set of just by itself yeah that's what I'm gonna do and again sometimes you know I don't know you know um I, I was in a in one of the groups I'm in, the lady put how, you know, sometimes she just got to get it on there. She, you know, you think about it too much and overthink it, and then you drive yourself crazy. The only thing I want to do, and I should have done it before I put glue on it, sometimes I just, I go in because even when you're fussy cutting, sometimes you still see some of the white because it's just the way it is. So I like to kind of go and ink a little harder on these delicate ones and now my fingers are covered in glue because I'm not thinking of that ahead of time there we go there we go because sometimes you actually don't see some of the bits of white till you're laying them down and then, like, I could easily add in another little design into this if I wanted to. Or I just go and put the Christmas. I think that's too big. I wish I had a little. Oh, how cute is that one? And I think I'll save that. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. No, even I have that fussy cut. I put all my Christmas word sentiments. That's what I'm, I'm not sure. Did I leave them in that book? And when I took that out of the book, where did I put the book? Where did I put the photo up? Oh, down here. I have a small desk, so sometimes. Do I have any of them in here I cut out? I was seeing if I put any word sentiments in here that I could easily pull out. I have a few, but these are ones I've stamped. They work too. And like, for instance, if I don't want it so white, oop, I glued it. 
I trying something new because I really wanted a better background, a nicer background on my desk. So I did that. What I can do, because necessarily, put that back in focus here. Sorry, guys. If I don't want it white, the great thing about ink is I can take and make that look more vintage. Easy peasy. Might be too big for there. I don't mind it. Again, there I go overthinking. And um, as I'm saying all this, um, I just noticed when my video went up, a lot of people are watching my videos, but they don't like them. And I'm not forcing you to like them, but it will help me. Because you, if you would just like it, and even if in the comments you put just a heart or a little emoji, it would really, really help me a lot. Now, you don't have to corner around everything. Hi, baby love. A little man's coming for a quick visit. Need what? The glue stick? Yeah. Okay, take one. Okay. You're welcome. Next. I need a, one that doesn't make such a drastic corner. That didn't want to work in that other one. And I thought it would make... I'm just doing that fast. And that's, again... I like the little snowflake in the background, so I'm going to add more of that to that. I think it just kind of nice. Just a couple little snowflakes on it. There we go. And I will cover those up in no time. Let's grab another one. Trying to see if this. Will... Yes. Oh, don't put glue on your sweater. It's for paper only, baby love. It's for paper only. It's for paper only, Jacob. He wants to, I guess, glue something to his sweater. <laughs> Little character he is. It's not for. It's only for paper, baby. Okay, what did you want to glue on your sweater? You need a hug? No, you didn't. No way. You're very tired because you didn't sleep well. He woke me up at four in the morning and I couldn't get him back to sleep at all. Well, he'd fall asleep, wake up, fall asleep, wake up. At five, I forced him to at least go lay in his bed. I, and this whole time, I'm awake and leave his door open. And I'd stay sitting on the couch for a little bit longer because he could see me from there. But then he did that for a little bit. And then he went pee. And then he went into his father's room. And uh, I don't know how much he slept in there. So let's see. what. Do I want to do a fussy cut again? I'm kind of liking the fussy cats. I kind of like her. But these are nice, but these will work well on the little ones. But that fussy cat, I really like her. But then I'm wondering if I'll go like. I'm trying to see how I would put that on there. I had a really tiny, tiny one of this. It would work perfect. But even this might work. I do like her a lot, but she'll be better on a smaller one. Because 
there's not so much on it. I wish they knew her. Oh, she's a little big, unless I put her like this. Which I don't mind. I don't mind that. But she's playing out of slinky on the stairs. That was a good one. He's home from school and normally he usually when but his father's on vacation right now, so they're they were in the pool twice today and but he's so tired he doesn't really want to do anything. Tomorrow he's going away for the day with his dad and I'm staying home alone and I'm just going to have the house to myself. I gotta go cook dinner soon, that's why I can't do the full hour. I just it's not anything that's gonna take long, that's why I did it this way. I was going to do it after dinner, but um, sometimes it's too much of a rush. By the time I do dinner, clean up dinner, um, it, it, I only got about an hour before I'm doing his quiet, quiet time. He likes quiet. Oh, maybe. No. I do like her a lot. And sometimes, you know, we don't have to put a lot. I think we have a habit of putting a lot, but I am really liking the snowflake stamps on it. So that's what I'm doing. Honor and I, if I could, now I don't know where my Christmas sentiments are. I thought they were in this box, and now I'm going to have to go search for them. If I wanted to, if I could have done these in a burgundy red snowflake, but I didn't want them to really stand out that much. I kind of want them like that. And I think I keep flipping that over to the side on myself. And I'm going to put a Christmas sentiment. But I don't have my small Christmas sentiments. I'm going to have to go see where I put those. Because that's really bothering me. Because I thought I had the bag of them in here. And if you want it to, you could even take and um, add a, put punch a hole in it. And add a charm to it if you want it to. I mean, you can do almost anything with these. I was just hoping maybe in just floating in this it's see this is what I'm going through it's everything I've fussy cut that I need to figure out how I'm going to do my fussy cuts <laughs> so I keep hoping that maybe in the midst of this I might have thrown one fussy cut in here there's some of my blue snowflakes that I make that's what I keep hoping but so far no luck So, but I don't think I'm going to be lucky enough to find a sentiment in here. Otherwise, no such luck. Maybe that, maybe? No. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Maybe all the way to the bottom. Let's just lift out this pile. Maybe if I go to it, because you know sometimes the little things fall, make their way to the bottom. I'll have that. <laughs> Sorry guys, I thought I had that. I really thought my sentiments were in there. Again, I have some that I stamped. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see. As you can see, I need to, uh, <laughs> I don't know how I more than fell out. These are just things I've stamped or that's too dark. Oh, I like that. That's what I'm going with. These are my stamped ones, and I haven't put them in the store, but if you would be interested in some, let me know, and I'd gladly stamp some up. And I don't even have to cut them out the way I have them. I can leave them just cut out, and if you want to go around them, you can. If you're interested in them, just let me know. Some of them are not the greatest. Uh, I was learning some of it, but it's not bad. It's just a, 
a little blurry because um, I was learning to get better at it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, da, da, da. These don't take long to do at all. I've had a bit of a fly problem down here, not a big one. But I, th I have it every summer because I think the cat's food with the empty containers in the garbage can. But even though it's closed, I think when I go to take it out, I don't know. I, I, I go through it for just a period of time when, I, when uh, the heat first starts. But I've gotten rid of them all. I didn't actually didn't end up killing them all because chasing them down. Um, I ha have a small window and I opened the window and the screen and I kind of swooshed them out the window. Not that I don't, I don't have a problem killing flies. It was just easier than the other way. So there we go. And I'm going to leave her. And I don't think I'm going to edge her up. And uh, But I notice she's not the straightest, but I'll fix that up. I think right here needs to... Because my cutter... There we go. So there we go. There's another one. I'm just going to look at the time, guys. Just really quick. Uh, 4.49. So I still got another. To work on these. There we go. So we've gotten this one done, this one done, this one done in the various sizes. So depending on what you need them for. And I have more postcards too. So you tell me I'm going to Okay. Now Oh, I'm thinking about going to, I like this birdie image, but is it going to be covering too much of the postcard up? I have that one and I also have this one, but this one I can take down this side a little and I could trim a little bit off the bottom if I want to try and make it smaller. I could even like go around it like that if I wanted to. These are too big and now I know when I go to make these I'll make them smaller. These will be fine for other things that I'm going to use them in so they're not going to go to waste. I just know I need to shrink them down because I really wanted to use this one. So she's going to be used for sure. And again, this one too. But I can trim her up a bit. Here. And a touch here. A little bit off the bottom. Not much I can take off the top. better now here's where I think I really want a snowflake but I don't have another snowflake punched here but I think on this I want to put a couple punched snowflakes um, and I don't have it any close by so what I might do, I'm going to borrow two from here, and once I find that, I will re -punch, punch them and put them back in here, because <laughs> I have different sizes in here. So let me glue this image on. i got to just remember which ones I take out of that, so I put the picture on top of the bag, and then I'll know the size I've got to re-punch out. Oh, my sweater's falling. Okay, that's ink. I think maybe we cord around this a little. Is it because this is full that it's not punching you? Okay. 
I just threw all those little, I just swept my floor too. And I just threw a ton of those little pieces all over the place. Now I have to re-sweep, which is something I have to do daily anyways, because I have paper all the time, especially when I do the fussy cutting. This one doesn't clip really well. That was 99 cents in Temu, so it's not like it. Sometimes I'll just go and trim it up the rest of the way. Oh. Ink. Dinner's easy tonight. We have, I found this thing, I forget the company name already, but it's, it's, it's a box like chicken, like chicken figures or something like that. That was the first time I yawned. Usually I've yawned three or four times by now. Only when I get on video <laughs> does it happen. I really like that image a lot. But I need to, when I punch out to replace these, I'm going to punch myself out a bunch and put a little baggie of them for my Merry Mondays. Because I love them. didn't really want the postcard too much covered, but I got it covered anyways. But that's okay. That's okay. What is not I love snowflakes, so I have a lot of. I have three snowflake punches right now. I would like another one. And I could take this further, or I don't have them handy, but I can put a little gold gem in the um, in the middle, and to give it some more bling. If I decide, to, which I am going to do, I just have to pull them out. Of somewhere in there. The idea is, do I want to put this Christmas? I think I do. And this, I'm choosing to use the smaller snowflakes. I know I need to put two so far back, maybe three. I'm going to put one more on here. But what I think I'm going to do first before I put that last one on, I'm just going to stick my lid on the glue. I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm actually having a really good day. I had a really good weekend. I didn't spend much time in my craft room, but um, on Saturday, uh, Andre's brother and his sister who lives in Vancouver where she was visiting, so they came over and we spent the afternoon talking and having lunch on s Saturday. And then on Sunday, he called me. The uh, reason I'm doing this is because I kind of want it off the edge and I don't want to get it on the white, so I'm just moving it there we go I wanted a few I think I want one more over here there we go okay I want one more smaller one and then I got to put three small ones back in here or that If it doesn't sell, then it'll just become my bag. And then I'll just punch more when Christmas comes next year. We'll see. Because I'm not keeping them up after uh, they're going to stay up this week. Do I want it over here on the stamp? I think so. Or I was thinking, do I want this half on? No, I think it's lost in there. Or here. 
what I want. I don't want it. Oh. All that playing around. I have to find where I put all my bone. Where's my scissors? And I'm just going to cut off the top. So it looks like that. There we go. There we go. There's another one done. These are fun to make. And uh, and I'll have I'll make some extra quite a few of these up tonight. I'm gonna find more postcards. And I might do some other things other than postcards. I'm just thinking in my head right now. I love these. And I can have these ready. These are like great to have ready. So I might do a, a few more postcards up and I'll have different sizes available that you can purchase if you want 10, if you want 15, if you want 20. And just go like that. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Look how beautiful these are coming out. Now, I want to... I don't know if I have anything. I want to look for something in particular for this one. And I'm going in here. I didn't have... Didn't find one. She's too big. Well, no, she's not, but she's too white for me. No. That's how it kind of want a pink one. Oh, see, I cut these snowflakes out. I couldn't even use those. I had a paper, and I just wanted to get rid of the small scraps, and I had made those snowflakes. Ooh, 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 ooh. She might work, but she might be too small. Just popping through, and I, I know when, I know where, I know where, I know where. I think I have more. Here. Oh. Oh. reason I debated this is because if they go down to the bottom they're not always easy to get out and they bend and I try to sometimes shove my hand in there to get them out and it's because there's one piece all the way to the bottom that I'm trying to get to because <laughs> I was thinking of adding her here instead for the stamp let's see how that looks Versa. Okay, I pulled out a couple of things I'm going to play with for a second. So we can go this way, but again, I think I'm going to corner around this one. And I'm just wondering if the pink will look better on a darker one. liking this and I kind of I'm just gonna see which one I like it better on and I actually like it on the lighter one we'll do this last one and then I'll buy it a goo and do dinner for the hungry boys and the thing because it's pink and white I'm not gonna worry about edging it too much I'm gonna edge the card itself Let's go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. 
Now, before I put my things on this, I've decided one thing, and I've just got to grab it. scissors over here. I'm going to move the book over because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some stamping but I might go off a bit so pulled out one of my other stamps a bigger one a little bit more of it showing but that was okay it happened it happened uh, now this small one and I went ahead and did this before I didn't want to want it to randomly put them on there put one up there there we go that's good I think and just because I don't want the ink everywhere do that And you could even have distressed that in pink as well if you wanted it to, if you really wanted the pink, pink, pink. Okay, I'm going to need that for the gluing. So let's put this first piece on. Thinking I should have used my um, velvet pink one. Then what I'm going to do to this, just to add a little to it, if I know where exactly I put it. I was doing so much stuff the other day and I don't didn't put it all back in the right place which I was doing working on some a beautiful pink folio I put together let me just see if I put it in here but I didn't just one second guys and I gotta look 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 it's in, it's probably right in front of my eyes and it shouldn't be that far because I just used it. I see my glossy accents that I was using. But it's a small bottle, so sometimes it's like a little snake. If, you know, if it was a snake, it would bite me. Where in the heck did I put it? It is right here. I know it is. I know it is. Just show you what I did on a, a car um, one of my other pieces that I'm going to do to the snowflake because it's somewhere and I know it's in the simplest place and I'm just overlooking it um, oops I don't know where that black butterfly came from you'll notice I have little it's the um, it is the pearls I have it in a, 
um, a rose gold and you'll see that I accented different places with it on here and here and that's what I'm going to do with the snowflakes and on the flowers is I'm going to accent that out to pop it up a little bit more and to finish that one off. Um, it, and I know the moment I turn this video off, I finish cooking dinner, I come down, I sit at my desk and it's going to be right there. I know it is. So that's what we're, I'm going to call it quits for today only because I need to um, get dinner done. I'm going to make some of these on my own because I really enjoy making them and then tomorrow I'll, I'll work on fussy cutting. So what did we get done in that period of time? Not too many for, we got that one done, this one done, this one done. And I can do the same here if I wanted to, um, I could put some little pearls on this and make those stand out if I want, or I might glossy ac accent the berries on it to give it a little thing. And I might glossy accent this. So it just, and the glossy accent, I'll show you something maybe that's really make it stand out. You'll see it here on the roses, how it shimmers in the light. So I'll do that to the poinsettia as well to take it just that step further. That is always nice. So those are the ones we got done and I have this idea going on in my head. I'm not fully on it. But that is what I'm going to do. And these I'm going to put little gold gems on them. So I'm going to add some accents to this. And when I do tomorrow's video, um, I'll show you the finished product of these before I start a tag that we're going to work on tomorrow. All right. Um, and these can also be done. They don't have to necessarily be done in Christmas. You can pull out your fussy cut Victorian, your stickers, whatever. They can be done with lots of different things as well. Thank you for joining me today. You have a wonderful evening and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye everyone.